Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Home 411. This is Randall Winter with Randall Winter Construction, Inc. out of Santa Clarita, California. Hometown Station AM 1220 KHTS. We have a special guest here today, an expert in the flooring field. Marty, I'm, Marty is Flooring America, Greg Smith. How are you doing, Greg? Good. So back to what we were talking about. We, we, we discovered a couple hardwoods they might want to put down if they have the big dogs and they got to let them out. And they come back in and they got all the rocks in their toes. And well, one of the things that I should bring up is that the technology today, as far as finish goes, is ex extremely advanced from t even 10 years ago. 10 years ago, most finishes were waterborne polyurethanes. Today, everything uh, is falling into uh, aluminum oxide ca category, which is a, a chemically or a engineered product where they actually infuse small parts of aluminum byproduct into the finish as it goes on. It's called nanotechnology, and it's a state of the art. And what that does is create a wood that's harder, more durable, more scratch resistant, and it's going to last a lot longer. So these technologies are available on the market now. Most of the upper end or quality hardwood flooring carry that type of technology, and some of them have another technology which is just plain aluminum oxide, but the nanotechnology is state of the art, and it'll really, really increase the life of your flooring. Okay, so it seems like a lot of people are putting the hardwood floors mm -hmm. downstairs, upstairs, bedrooms are going carpet. All right. As a remodeling contractor, I come across this, and I'm going to throw it out. Then I'll read my cheat sheet and discuss <laughs> what you want to talk about. I like, when I put down tile floors, I like to put my base molding first and grout to the base because that makes it real tight, and there's mm -hmm. no way even a piece of paper can slip under the base. What's your opinion about that? I agree with that. I think that makes a much better finish. It, de it it's really depends on the installer. If you have a professional tile setter rather than just some uh, fly-by-nighter, you're going to get somebody that cuts the tile. So definitely to have to cut it. To cut it to the molding, and then there may be a small, small gap that can be filled with the grout, but that's a much cleaner finish, and that's the way that we like to do it. Now, there are situations where it has to be done the, the other way because of heights and Mm -hmm. Some other things okay. that might have happened prior to the installation that caused that, but that's the way we like to finish it. Okay, now the floor we just did, I took on the base molding responsibility and had you put the hardwood in, mm -hmm. and we did it differently, didn't we? First, yeah. First, we put the hardwood because the hardwood has to expand. Correct. So you have to keep it away from the wall of the house. Correct. What, what distance is that usually? Three-eighths to an inch? Three-eighths to... A uh, half inch. Half inch. It also depends on the length of the room. A larger room will dep uh, need, have a need for a larger expansion joint. Um, with the engineered flooring, and, and here in Santa Clarita, we do mainly engineered floors, mm -hmm. and those aren't plywood floors. They're actually engineered for stability. A lot of sol solid hardwoods aren't done here in this town, and the reason is most of the houses, as you know, are on concrete slab. Right. Concrete slab contain moisture, Moisture causes the wood to move. So we use engineered product that is designed for stability to go right over that concrete, and you don't get a lot of movement. Because of that, we don't have to have some of the tolerances that we might otherwise need. So the tolerance, you say, is about a half inch? About a half inch will okay. usually suffice. So then we're going to put base molding on top of your wood, and it's usually going to be at least a half inch wide. Mm -hmm. And then we don't need the shoe. I hate that shoe. In the kitchen, we have to do it. it yeah, like, the, the only cabinet. time I use shoe is on a cabinet, mm -hmm. or if it has existing baseboards. I was in a house uh, yesterday. Um, they have some beautiful baseboard work done, and to take it out and put it back in would be really expensive. That's true, because you have to cut it. And so because of the height of the molding, we were able to add a small matching shoe, and it actually added a little bit of uh, decorative finish to the existing base and looked very, very nice. Hmm. Very good. Well, I know that gets a little bit uh, more tradesy talk here, but those mm -hmm. of you that have remodeled your own house or self home improvement people might appreciate that. Um, what types of service does Marty's Flooring offer again? Well, we're a full service flooring company, and we don't just do just flooring. We do carpet, hardwood, tile, all hard surfaces, vinyl, commercial, uh, residential. Um, we also do uh, kitchen work as far as countertops go, granite, um, tile, and those, uh, those types of things also. Um, 
some of the other things that we do is we do have uh, have associated with some of the uh, local carpet cleaners and and flooring maintenance companies to make sure that your products are taken after you put it in it's not just the buying of the floor it's the maintenance of the floor also that we're interested in we want you to be a customer a customer for life we want you to be able to contact us you know in the near future and make sure that your floors are are still functioning the way that we well, wanted it to well i mean flooring and painting are probably the two most uh easiest way to change the whole look of a house absolutely um we don't have our painter here today but we have our floor covering guy one of the things that people are up against is money mm -hmm. um, do you, you guys offer financing we do we actually have ge capital financing which is i guess the same as some of the larger box stores um 12 months same as cash 18 months same as cash a lot of these different options and programs for people hmm. that might want to pay for this over the long term okay and then what about warranty well, being a Flooring America dealer, and that's one of the reasons that we associated with a Flooring America, is they offer the best uh, flooring warranty in the industry. Lifetime installation, I'm sure you're aware that California law states that a contractor must warranty their workmanship for one year. We warranty for the life of the product. If it's a 25-year warranty, we warranty our install for as long as that product is in your home. Carpet, the same thing. And that means that if there's a problem with the installation within a year, we will come in free of charge, usually within a day or two, hmm. and get that taken care of for you. And that's our that's our. Claim it doesn't get any better now. No, it doesn't. Thanks, Greg. That's really mm -hmm. important. Well, thanks again, Home 411 Show, here at Hometown Station AM 1220 KHTS.